everybody. Welcome to a nibble. I was recently contacted by a YouTube viewer asking me how could they make a copy or a backup of their Smart Basic tape when they only have one data drive. Well, I'm going to assume that they actually have a blank data pack to work with. If not, hopefully they can make some like I showed in a previous video. I'll put a link somewhere up in there. So I want to show you how to do this. It's this book right here, Hacker's Guide to the Atom Computer. It's available on the archive. This came out 36, 37 years ago. It has a lot of interesting information on it. And then page 54 and 55, there's a, oh, let me get to the right page here. 54 and 55, there's a little program and I'll put links down in the description and I'll put, actually put the text in there too. That lets you copy from your basic data pack to another data pack. Well, actually you can copy any data pack, but you got a little basic first. So what I've done is I've loaded basic here and on there, I have a copy of that program that I saved called Backup. I'm going to load it off of the tape, off the data pack. I use tape and data pack interchangeably, so when I say tape, don't, don't go like, Hey, Millie, it's a data pack. No, it, it's either. So, I'm going to load it up in here. And I'm going to run it. And what will happen when I run this thing, this program, is it will read the first 16 empty blocks, which is 16,000 characters, 16,000, what, 384? Six, first 16 blocks of data off of the tape, then prompt you to put in the destination tape and it'll write them. Then it will do the next 16 and it'll write them and so forth. It will not write an empty block. So it will skip empty blocks to save you some time but theoretically, you could have 16 tape swaps going on here by the time you're done. This, tape, this data pack I got in here is very empty. So when I run it, it's only going to swap four times because there's less than 64 blocks of data on there. So I'm going to start the swapping. I'll go full screen let you watch it real quick. I'll fast forward through it because eh, what's interesting about it, but you'll see how it works. When it, gets back, when it gets to the word end, I'll come back to the video and you can see that it worked. All right, so we're all done with that. As I said, this data pack, this one right here, the original, which I'm gonna put away here, was basically empty. The only thing that's on here is Smart Basic and the backup program. So I only had to switch four times, so that meant there was less than 64 blocks that had to be transferred. Remember, 16 blocks per switch. If you have a data pack that's really full, it's gonna have to switch up to 16 times to get it all transferred but you'll get it transferred to the other one. So now, we're done with the transfer. We have the original, uh, we have the destination pack in here. I'm gonna do a reset to show you that yes, it did actually transfer Smart Basic to that pack. Now, just as an aside, whenever you reset the Atom, and it goes about doing its business, inside the video display processor, which is a separate CPU all by itself, stays with the last setup that it had. In this case, the last setup it had is a black screen. So when you reset, you got a black screen until program loads in that changes that screen. If that program doesn't change the screen, you're gonna stay with a black screen. So eventually you're gonna see a little cursor is gonna pop up in the top left-hand corner. That means that Smart Basic has loaded and started running and doing its thing. It's setting up the video display processor. And we'll get to the display, uh, we'll get to the basic prompt. And we can see that it actually had copied over. So we'll go ahead and wait here. It's not that long. It's, what is it? Um, 30, I think it's 30 blocks that it's loading. A blank, see now you got the cursor there, which means that the video display process has been set up. A blank data pack with just basic on it has 224 free blocks, which means that it's using up 31 blocks for basic Three blocks, okay, three blocks for the directory, one block for the boot, so that's four, 31 minus four, 27 blocks, so a little over, around 27K for Smart Basic. So, what we did is we just made a copy of Smart Basic. I now have backup. 
and that's the original. And just to show you, just so you can see that it actually did copy it, let me just catalog so you can see that it actually copied over the basic program that was on there too, because it just copied everything that was on there to See, that basic program backup, which is on here, is now also on there. And I got 224 blocks free. So this can hold 224K, 224,000 characters, plus or minus. There you go. Have a good day.